the hands of other homeschool mothers searching for living books for their children's education. So walls and walls. And there's Miss Jan. Walls and walls and books. And this is what I've been doing all weekend. Hey Leah! I'm just showing everybody the wonderful living books that I've been over my head with this weekend and just enjoying helping the moms. Hey there. Oh, let me show you something, Leah. You will recognize those books probably. Some Enid Blyton books. Yes. And all these beautiful books. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing and why I can't watch all your scopes because I've been here with all these books having a great time and I do have a great big stack to bring home to my library and I will probably someone has asked me to do a scope to share um, some of the books that I have and I'm just giddy with excitement over what I have found this weekend and how many families I've been able to help by putting living books into their hands and you know, little girls coming in and I want to read a book about adventure and or I want to read a book about um, Florence Nightingale. This is the the great homeschool conference in South Carolina and we're going to be done in about half an hour. Let me show you. It goes all the way around. Books, 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 books. Books, 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 books. All these books. All these books. So this is this is what I've been doing all weekend and um, just wanted to give you guys a peek and um, let you know I'm going to be who sources the books. This is a friend of mine. They go all over. I'm going to come out here because she has customers. They go all over the United States and collect um, out of print. Um, they, they, they focus on out of print books that are hard to get into the homeschoolers hands but they collect a lot of books that homeschoolers need they are the last of their kind as far as i know where we are um years ago when i first started going to homeschool conferences there would be you know five or six used book dealers and i would always end up back here with them because she had the gems she always had the most wonderful ones and through the years all the other families have had to stop with this job, but this is their livelihood, this is what they do. And they consider it a ministry to um, continue sharing these books. Um, let me show you, she actually wrote a book some of you might like. It is. Sorry. She wrote this book, Who Shall We Then Read with Yes, I know. <laughs> Who shall we then read? She wrote this in a, a compilation of some of the top authors and it has a little biographical sketch and all the books because she's been doing this for years and everybody was asking her, tell me some good authors. So she finally just wrote a book and after she wrote her first one with 140 plus authors, it wasn't enough for everybody and they wanted more. So she wrote, it's uh, Jan Bloom with Books Bloom. She's a wonderful wealth of knowledge about books and a wonderful friend and a wonderful person. So um, I will share some of the, excuse me guys, sorry. I'll share some of the books that I found. Jan Bloom, yes. Like these, I know some of you might, for example, some of you might have seen these on the bookcases, but originally they looked like this and they've changed some of the language in the newer books. So she scours the country high and low to get some of the original ones so you can get the wealth of language that are in the original ones that haven't been revised or edited. Um, so that's just one, one example of a type of book that she, yes, yes, it's amazing. So I have, 
I have found, I probably, I gotta make sure I didn't put it back in the wrong place. Um, I have found several books for my library and I'll share what I found. But if you, on her blog, Books Bloom, she has her conference schedule and you'll see where she is. So you can see if she's at a conference near you and in your area, she's going to Fort Worth next weekend and then I think they're going to be in Orlando, Florida. Hey there! In different places. It's Books Bloom so you can look at their conference schedule and they're really dear friends of mine. Um, wonderful, wonderful resource for those um, out of print books that you can't find anymore. Let me show you the fiction section. She hasn't done California in years, they said, because it just got too crazy, but this is the fiction section. No, I don't think she's going to do that one. You can look at Books Bloom and look at her schedule. So I'm in the fiction section here. So the Betsy books. I just, I'm in heaven here with all these books, just enjoying it. I just wanted to pop in real quick. The conference is almost over and I have a four and a half hour drive back home. Yes, yes, I did see, um, nurturing learning girl I got to meet somebody um, face to face that I've from Periscope and that was really fun really fun so I just wanted to share real quick and I miss all you guys and Leah your um, husband and wife this morning I was up because I was awake before everybody else and I was listening to it with my earphones on and I was laughing so hard that I snorted and I'm like, I'm going to wake them up. This is so good though. It was so much fun. So you guys have a wonderful Sunday and I will see you next week. And I just wanted to share some of these beautiful books with you. Bye bye.